This is a basic introduction to HL7 ADT messages. ADT messages are extremely common in HL7 processing and are among the most widely used of all message types. They communicate patient demographic and visit information, as well as the reason why the message is being sent. ADT messages are typically initiated by the HIS or a registration application and are used to keep ancillary systems in sync regarding the state of a patient. When a patient's record is updated, an ADT message is sent. This way, all systems can maintain the patient's current contact information, insurance, and next of kin, as well as their current patient location and attending doctor. There are 51 different types of ADT message events that represent real-world activities for the patient. Some of the most commonly used ADT message events are the AO1 message when a patient is admitted, the AO2 when they're transferred, and the AO3 when they are discharged. Within the contents of an ADT message, you will find patient demographic and visit information. Here we're looking at a sample ADT AO1 patient admit message. In the PID segment, you can find the patient's name and contact information. The PV1 segment holds visit information, such as the attending physician and the assigned patient location. The IN1 and IN2 segments are where you will find the patient's primary and secondary insurance information. You can find much more information and the full HL7 standard for ADT messages in Chapter 3 of the HL7 standards definition. Want to learn more? Register today for our live web-based HL7 First Steps training class.